All right, y'all, it is lunchtime and I accidentally ordered the HelloFresh box again. <laughs> so I got the box yesterday, made this last night, and now I'm about to make one of these for lunch. Well, not one of them. I'm about to make the ravioli for lunch. So it's time for a pre-workout snack. I have two built bars. I only have like a few of these left. I have a peanut butter brownie and a cookies and cream. So I'm just trying to decide which one I want to eat for my snack. Actually, I'm gonna go with the cookies and cream because it's 130 calories and the peanut butter brownie is 180 because it has peanuts in it. Can you get my water please? Thank you. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a lower body workout today. Um, I have not been working out a lot because I like strained my shoulder muscle, whatever this muscle's called. I forgot what it's called. I strained it, and it was it's been hard for me to really like do in depth workouts. But now the it's starting to come back a little bit. The it's starting to hurt less. So I think I can do. Um, I could have been doing lower body workouts and I have been doing like cardio workouts, but I haven't been doing a lot of strength trainings. I did my first upper body strength training workout a couple days ago and now I'm about to do a lower body strength training workout. Um, if y'all have never tried built bars before, this is what it looks like. So my honest opinion about built bars is that the only one that's really outstanding no there were two that were like kind of really good first of all that chocolate coconut brownie chunk i think is what it's called coconut brownie chunk that one's good but my mom was here when i first ordered them she loved it she ordered some pretty much right away she got her box like a week later and hers tasted soapy like she gave me one of hers definitely had like a soapy aftertaste it was so weird so i think they're inconsistent and for the price that's unacceptable because they're charging like 30 dollars for a box of these bars when you talk when you buy like 18. so yeah that's not that ain't the move i think actually i think it's more than 30 dollars if you're buying 18. i think it's almost $30 if you're buying I think it's like $26 if you're buying 12 so these are not cheap so I need them to be consistent but yeah so that is I'm finishing mine up I'm none of these flavors are my favorite at this point I'm really just trying to get through them since I bought them and <laughs> they were expensive so I'm gonna eat them um but actually my kids do like the peanut butter um brownie one I'm not sure why they call it peanut butter brownie because it has no nothing is brownie like about it um the cookies and cream one is also subpar i don't know what like there is no cookies and cream flavor in here but that's what it looks like on the inside the texture is really chewy i just have water the texture is really chewy but it'll do if you want a chocolate fix so i'm really tired um but i'm gonna get this workout in i'm gonna choose one off youtube i'm gonna knock it out and then i'm gonna go chill for the rest of the night
okay so I did three of each of those exercises that you guys exercises that y'all just saw it was the channel is mad fit and it is the 20 minute leg butt and thigh workout that is what it looks like <sighs> this camera does not do a good job of showing the TV for some reason but I'm probably gonna lay here for a few minutes I'm so tired But yeah, I will see you guys um, when I figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. So the chicken is in the air fryer. I have some more of the Brussels sprout and um, chickpea mixture that I had the other day for that salad. So I went ahead, I'm about to boil some noodles and have some marinara pasta along with the chicken. And then I'm also gonna add a side of this chickpea and Brussels sprout mixture. And then I made some, I guess you can call this kind of like a honey mustard vinaigrette. So I put a little bit, I put maybe one tablespoon of all of grapeseed oil and then I did a little bit of agave some lime juice some yellow mustard Dijon mustard no spicy brown mustard I did yellow mustard spicy brown mustard salt pepper and a little bit of garlic parmesan um, wing sauce just because I had some in there and that was it I shook it all up and it turned into this it actually tastes pretty good so that's what I'm going to top my salad with. I'm going to use this pretty sparingly though because it does have quite a bit of, it has a tablespoon of olive oil, which as we know is 100 calories. But even if I just do half of this, it's still not that bad. I think I'm around 80 or 90 calories for half of this dressing. Because most, the only things that really had um, any calories were the oil, the grapeseed oil and the wing sauce, which I put about a tablespoon of that as well and it was, 70 calories for two tablespoons so yeah this is pretty much about this pretty much only has the calories for those two things so 100 oh and the agave I'm sorry I did put some agave so I put probably between a half and three quarters of a tablespoon of agave and that gave it like the little a little bit of sweetness so yeah between those three things I'm at maybe 200 calories or 200 and some odd calories so yeah, I'll probably use less than half of this. But that's my dressing. Here is the salad. I'm gonna be eating this today and probably tomorrow to finish it off. And then like I said, I'm gonna do some pasta, marinara sauce, and the chicken that's in the air fryer. Thank you. 